I'm going to be showing you how to use the Animation Assist in Procreate. This is a great way to add personality to your illustrations. Today I'll be walking through how I add movement to the cat's tail and eyes. At the moment my scene is in lots of different layers, but for the animation I just want the cat and the background to be on separate layers. I could merge them down now, but I don't want to lose the original layered file. So I'll go back to the gallery and duplicate the illustration. Now that I have my layered file saved, I can carefully start to pinch the layers down to merge them, making sure I keep the background and the cat separate. So now that you've merged them, you should have two separate layers, one with the cat and one with the background. So I'll head over to the spanner here and then go to canvas and turn on animation assist. Before we get started, I'm going to click on the frame and turn this to background. This way it will make sure my background layer is going to be on all the frames of my animation. I'll then go to my cat layer and duplicate it. I'll start to remove the tail and now that I've got animation assist turned on you can see that the frame below has become an onion skin and this is going to help show us where to put the next frame. And before I trace over this frame I'm going to duplicate the cat without a tail so I've always got a copy of that. Then I'll go back to this layer and I'll start to draw a slightly different tail on top. So I want to make sure the line is coming out of the same place as the tail before but I want movement in the tip of the tail so I'm going to slightly change that up and then I'll fill it in so I've just got to get that really neat and as you can see I haven't completely traced it because I want it to slowly move so I'm going to duplicate it again and then on the layer below I'm going to repeat this process So take your time with this. And then I'll just repeat the process over and over until I slowly have the tail coming on to the other side. If you're still unsure on how it moves, then you can check out some videos online or if you have your own cat, maybe you can watch your cat's tail. Then I'll go back to my frames down here and press play so I can watch how the tail is moving to make sure that it's smooth and it's moving how I want it to. So it's getting quite hard to see where to draw next just because there's so many layers here. So I'm just going to go to settings and put down my onion skin frames from 6 to 2 and that way it will only show the two onion skins below this frame. I want to make sure my animation is set to ping pong and not loop. If I select loop it will jump back to the beginning and you won't have this smooth back and forth motion. So once I'm happy with the tail I can move on to creating movement for the eyes. So I'm going to head over to one of the frames and paint over the eyes then I'll do the same for the frame above. This way it will keep the blink for slightly longer. I'm just going to see what my cat looks like if I add another blink further on and then I'll just press play and check to see how that's looking and I'm not really happy with how many blinks there are 
So I think I'm just gonna keep it to one blink. I think it just looks a bit more natural. So it's completely up to you how long you have the wink for. Maybe you wanna do it a bit longer, or if you wanna have it even quicker, then just have one frame without the eyes. And here's the final animation. So I hope you guys were able to follow along and you have all the tools now to bring your illustrations to life. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.